so quickly after the end of a game. What a titanic battle that was. Yeah, it was, John. It was um, a real tough one, uh, not much in it, and they had a couple of opportunities to score in the second half, and we did well to hold them out, and we had a couple of opportunities to score in the first half, and they did well to hold us out. And you know, It reminds me a couple of years ago, um, just before Christmas, we broke our away losing depth with a draw away at Darlington just before Christmas, um, and got similar feelings today. I, I'm not sure if either team deserved the win. It was uh, There's plenty of mistakes out there, but uh, again, our scrum came dominant. Uh, our mall was good, and uh, we, we battled and battled and battled to keep ourselves in the game and took the points when they were on, and I think it was a well-deserved couple of points. I think everybody, from certainly from a company perspective, would, would agree with you on that. Nottingham would probably feel that, being at home, they probably dropped two points. But even when you saw the weather this morning, what, what were your thoughts? Well, we, we knew we'd, we had the squad um, and the, the tactics to just to keep the ball in Nottingham's half and, and make them play, and they were probably very similar with us. And the game was going to come down to who made fewer mistakes, and I think it was a pretty pretty shared result in the end. Um, but we're, over the course of the season so far, we've been um, building with our away performances. They've been getting better and better each time, and, and that shows today we've turned a loss into a draw, and, and hopefully that next step will go when we, we go away to Bedford in January. Yeah, you obviously were forced to make a change from the selected side with Sam Tuatapu having a slight problem with his hamstring. Conditions today would have actually suited him really entirely, wouldn't they? Absolutely, you know, if we had Sam in midfield or Heath in midfield, then we could have been a bit more direct and, and got us over the game line. But saying that, I think Tony Fenner controlled the game really well. Another outstanding performance from him. He's been one of the stand up players so far, and, and Adam Peters returning the pack as well. The two of them worked really hard, but today was a squad effort, and we've got a wider squad. So, if we lose Sammy in the, in the build up, we can replace and go from there. And it's good to see Big David back on the pitch, and, and he'll only get stronger as well. Yeah, overall, I think you, you've said it already a fair result, a draw. What would your message be for the travelling cough support again? They were fantastic, weren't they? Yeah, well, look, we've gone one step further today, and, and there's probably another one in it. So, you know, it's, it's we've broken that, that losing streak, um, so to speak. and and their support today was brilliant. I think they drowned out the, the Nottingham crowd on, on a couple of occasions. So it's a big step forward for us um, to get a draw just before Christmas, points on the board again, and then we can go and back to back home games and, and hopefully go a step further in January. Well, and thanks very much. We've now got three weeks. Uh, enjoy the time with the family. Uh, it's been a long stint since September, but many congratulations and uh, all good wishes for you and the family in the new year. Thank you. Cheers, Sebby. You too. Cheers. Thanks, Robert.